what are the weaknesses with this mean absolute error? So as you can see, we previously matched this. It was pretty close. We predicted a house price uh, over here of 396,000. The actual one in our data that we did have was 400,000. So the 396 versus 400, that's 4,000 difference. So in this instance, the mean absolute error was pretty close to our figures. But that's not always the case because what you can see from this graph is sometimes a model will over predict. So some values are over. So here, this one is the actual value, but you can see it's over over here. Uh, here again, the actual value is under the line, but the model has predicted a higher price, but sometimes it is actually lower so here this value is actually actual price is higher but the line is under it so this means that the line has predicted a lower value versus the actual so the mean absolute error what it, it's doing is basically checking the average difference between the point and the line the point and the line and then what it does is it sums them up and then shows you what the uh, difference is now the only thing to watch out for is we've done it on the test set now we we only have two test data points here which is the two points in green so one is up here and the other one is down here so it's just based on that now in our case we've been quite lucky that it's actually been pretty accurate but if we try and predict the house price for a different house so rather than 1500 let's do it for a, a thousand uh, and do we have a thousand in our values so let's have a look um, so we do have thousand actual value of the size of the house and the predicted well the actual price has been in 300 so let's see what does our, our model predict so based on the line what do you think you will predict so it'll go somewhere ar around here and then wherever it intercepts this line it's going to try and predict the price so we can see roughly yeah pretty accurate but let's see what actually happens so this is the actual value but you can see it's already on top of the line but the line is lower so the line is clearly going to predict a lower price so let's see if that's actually true by running our code so we'll just click this play button and what do you know it it has predicted a price of 290. So this 290 is clearly, you know, the original price was 300,000 is out by 10k. So this is where I was trying to show you that you will get these differences in mean absolute error values versus the actual results that you may get over here versus here.